The San Francisco 49ers have made another roster move as they've been making a handful as they kind of work through some injuries and add some additional talent onto the roster. As you guys already heard earlier today, 49ers Drake Jackson was put on the reserved PUP list, which means he will not be able to play at all in the 2024 season. So his year is done. And you would have to think that the 49ers wanted to go out and get additional defensive end help. And they went out and did exactly that. They went out and signed former Packers and UFL player defensive end Jonathan Garvin to a one year deal. Garvin was playing in the UFL just this last year. They actually won a championship and now he finds his way into the 49ers roster in the NFL. So good for him. Uh, last year, it looks like with the Birmingham Stallions, Garvin finished with three and a half sacks and a tackle for loss. And he was also able to add two batted passes, two forced fumbles, and 19 tackles. Garvin stands six foot four, 257 pounds. Not not bad, not bad at all. And he's still pretty young. He's 25 years old. So you're not getting a guy who's long in the tooth just yet. Still has some potential in that body. So we'll see how he acclimates to, to the NFL. So it'll be interesting to see. But like I said, he was also on the Green Bay Packers from 2020 to 2022, where he did play. He played in 25 games. He had 30 tackles, three TFLs and one and a half sacks. So he has NFL experience. He has UFL experience. I threw on a couple clips uh, from what I saw. He, he's okay. He looks solid. Uh, nothing that like stood out to me and was like, Ooh, Oh, and again, I haven't sit here and, you know, grinded the tape on this guy. I just watched a couple clips from what I could find on Twitter. Uh, he looks like a guy who could definitely contribute uh, kind of a, a big end kind of frame. Feels like he could be a base down guy. <clears throat> you know, obviously being 257 pounds playing defensive end is a little thinner, uh, but still good length at 6'4". So we'll see. We'll see how he acclimates into this rotation. See if he provides uh, much of anything. Obviously, Robert Beal will be there to back up. Nick Bosa, Leonard Floyd, along with Ita Gross Matos. So we'll see how he fits in with the group. But that is the 49ers roster move that they had going. Uh, let me know what you think about this. It's not like a big time move or anything, but it is a move nonetheless. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.